Dave, uh, the points shared then tonight, what's the assessment? Uh, the assessment is really after 14 minutes we should have been 3-0 up. After 27 minutes we should have been 4-0 up. Um, I don't think we played quite sharp enough tonight. It, there was a bit of a sharpness that I felt was, was lacking a little bit in our play. And, and I think that sharpness is why we ended up not taking our chances. Because they fell to people who you think, yep, yeah, you'd be quite happy to fall into those people. Then they're not always going to be bob on with everything they do. So, you know, then it, then it ends up being a, an awkward game, if you know what I mean. And then in the second half, there's a little bit of a wind as we can feel now going down the pitch. And then all of a sudden, the long balls come in your box. You know, they do put you under um, a lot of pressure airily. They're a big team. And what they do is they back it up really well. So when they play long, they back it up and they get on that second ball and the next one's forced back in there. And then you've got to end up doing a lot of heading and you've got to end up doing a lot of hooking. And then all of a sudden, you know, it becomes that they get in charge of the game territorially a little bit. And that's probably what happened a little bit in the second half. But that only happened because we weren't quite... We didn't play sharp tonight. That, that, that was what I felt. I just said to the boys, can't fault them for effort. I'm double proud of them because on another night when everything's not going well for you, I've been there and been one of those players when things are not going right for you. And you only want one person to buckle. You only want one person to give in. And then you end up getting beat tonight. So I think our supporters realised that as well. You know, as the game was going on, I remember, you know, around about 69 minutes, all of a sudden our fans come into the game as well because they sensed it and they gave the boys energy to get through to the end of the game, that was what it about. So all in all, really, you know, it ends up being another point for us. It moves us up to 16th. We knew it could have moved us up to 13th tonight. We know that, but you know, small mercies. So at the end of the day, we just had two tough games, long trip on the road. Then we come back, very small preparation time for another physical game. So all in all, if somebody had said to me, you're going to take four points out of six at these next two games, probably I would have took it. Would I ever like six out of six? Of course I would. And so would everybody else to do with the club. We would have all liked that. But if we'd have ended up winning tonight and getting a draw up at Fleet, would everybody would have said, great. Um, but our home form has been very, very good. And um, it could have still been very good, as I said, if we'd have been a little bit sharper tonight and taken those early chances. And by half time then, if the game's 4-0, it's done. We'd probably go on. We might not score another four in the second half, but we might score another one. But I was really proud of the boys tonight because they're a big old team and they, they really do work you. The ball's put in your box and it's an awkward game for them. But that's what you've got to do. You've got to be able to adapt to both. And I thought the lads were great tonight. Yeah, how pleasing the way you defended in that second half. Yeah. Accrington did ask questions of your team. Yeah, well, they ask questions of every team. That's what they do. And, um, you know, if you have a look at their, their win-loss win record, you know, they either play like that so they played like that. I think before tonight they won 10, drew three, lost 10. I think that was their setup. So if you look at, at later, the latter part of the game, that could be one of the games where they could have won 11. But if you look at the first part of the game, that could have been also where they would have lost 11. So there's very little in between. So, you know, I thought that we did well with a side that's not as big as theirs, you know, um, but it would have been... Um, it would have been easier maybe if we'd have had a couple more players available than one of those would have been his strength, if you know what I mean, in, in probably Aaron Pierre. That might have been Andy tonight, but it wasn't meant to be. So, um, yeah, it just wasn't meant to be. But I'm, I'm, I'm still double proud of the lads tonight for the way they are. They didn't give in. You know, a couple of months ago and certainly last season, we'd have got beat in that game. We'd have got beat. We'd have definitely got chinned in the second half. So many games. Postponed mm. again, yep. up and down the country. Yep. What's the situation at Shrewsbury at the moment? With, with well, the COVID? situation, Stu, is we're carrying on playing. That's the situation, and we've been very careful. Um, I'm not saying other clubs haven't been careful, but you know, it's our second Christmas game. We're doing our very best. Um, you know, with with silly things. You know, obviously, you're not meant to shake hands after the game and things like that. And uh, but the lads are going to shake hands with their opposition when they're coming off. And <laughs> I know it's only a small thing, but I said to them when they come back in the dressing room, it was almost like sending naughty children off to wash their hands, if you know what I mean. And it, and it, and it wasn't like that. But I actually think that's important because, you know, they'll end up wiping their nose, wiping their faces. And, and you never know where you're going to get it. You know, I think Accrington have already had a couple before they come into the game tonight. So you don't know who they've been sat with on the bus, who they've been sat next to in their changing rooms. 
you just got to be very, very careful. And you know, hopefully, hopefully it 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 won't it won't catch us. Hopefully, you know. But as I know only too well, this this virus, you can't pick and choose whether you get it or not. Have you got cases at the club at the moment? Yeah, we've got a couple. Yeah, you'll know. Obviously, Aaron and obviously um, Lesha Bella wasn't available tonight because he he tested positive. So yeah. So we've had a couple, and we just hope that we we don't we don't get any more, well, and and all the other clubs as well. We hope they don't get any more as well. Absolutely. Well, best wishes to, to Aaron and and Candy. Yeah. You've got another another game here yeah. on uh, on Sunday. Yeah. Sheffield Wednesday. One to yeah. to look forward to to to, to kick off 2022. Well, yeah. Well, I think first and foremost at the moment, what we need to do is probably have a little bit of rest and recovery from the two that we've had, and we'll probably start thinking about Sheffield Wednesday tomorrow, or certainly I will, and the staff will. The players will get a day off tomorrow because they need to, they need to have that shutdown and and rest and recover a little bit and spend some time with their family. You know, we've we've ended up, you know, keeping our part of the bargain. If you know what I mean, we had two games and we've ended up achieving those two games and playing them. And um, I think I think we've done really really well. Certainly over the last two or three months of avoiding any of this, and I hope I'm not putting a kiss of death on it um, and keeping on playing when. There's been some some teams where, you know, with this as long as you've got 14 players and all of that business, you know, I have to say over the last couple of months, we've been down to the bare bones and we've ended up with some young players that have ended up standing up and going on the bench that are not ready for the bench, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, I think it's all credit, you know, to our, our our boys. I think I think they've been they've been terrific. And we were a couple of days from the the transfer window. Opening, yeah. Steve. Anything yeah. likely to happen? Are you, yeah, are you it's probably about already? five that will be in on New Year's Day. <laughs> what are you laughing at? That quickly, that quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I don't listen. There's a few things that we're still looking at, and um, a few things that we're waiting for a couple of replies on. Um, but I've got to be honest with you. You know, those those thoughts and theories are the furthest from my mind at this moment in time because we've just got to try and grind out some points in these three games we've had, and we've got one more to go in the league and then we can we can assess as i said before not everything happens early in the transfer window you know and certainly for us it might come towards the back end but you never know you never know thanks as always for your time thanks steve pleasure thank you